Hey guys, want to install One UI 7 on your Samsung phone using a PC? Well, in this video, I'll show you the easiest step-by-step -step method to flash One UI 7 firmware on your device. Now, keep in mind, this method only works if your phone is officially supported for One UI 7 or if your device originally came with One UI 7 in its update list. Don't worry, later in the video, I'll also show you how to check if your device supports One UI 7. But if your phone is not supported, no problem. I already made another video where I explain how to install a One UI 7 custom port on Samsung phones. You'll find the link in the description below. But before we begin, here's a quick heads up. This method is completely safe for all Samsung devices and it will not trip Samsung Knox security. But flashing firmware will erase everything. So make sure to back up your data before moving ahead. All right, let's jump right in and start installing One UI 7. For this tutorial, I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy S23. This phone originally launched with One UI 5 back in October 2023. As you can see right now, it's running on One UI 6 with Android 14. But today we're going to replace it with the official One UI 7 update based on Android 15. The very first step is to enable developer options on your Samsung phone. So open settings, then scroll down and tap on about phone. Next, go into software information and here you'll see an option called build number. Just tap on it seven times until you see the message that developer mode has been turned on. Once done, go back to settings and you will see developer options. In developer options, scroll down and find USB debugging, then turn it on. This allows your Samsung phone to accept the downgrade firmware and ensures the process works smoothly without errors. Also, for safety, make sure to remove your Samsung account or Google account from the phone before we start flashing. This will help you avoid any account lock issues later. And don't forget, disable your PIN, pattern or password. Just set your screen lock to none for now. Doing this helps you avoid factory reset protection lock during the downgrade process. Now that we're done with step one, it's time for step two, downloading the One UI 7 Samsung firmware. So let's switch over to the PC screen. All right, on your PC, open any browser and head over to sam at w.com. This is the website we'll use to download the official Samsung firmware for your device. Once you're there, click on other tools and then select check IME. Now we'll need enter device's serial number. To find serial number, open settings on your phone, go to about phone and you'll see the serial number listed there. Copy that number and enter it on the SAMFW website to fetch the correct firmware details. Once you enter the serial number, click on check info and firmware. And there you go. You'll now see complete details about your Samsung device, including the exact model number, Android version, region and more. Now scroll down a bit and click on the second option that says download firmware with region. So here we have all the firmware versions listed for your device. Now here's an important step. Before we install One UI 7, you need to check which firmware is currently installed on your phone. Don't worry, it's simple. Just go to settings and in software information, look at your build number. For example, on my Galaxy S23, the build number ends with BD and the bit number here is 8. Now when you download One UI 7, make sure the firmware you choose has the same bit number. So if your phone is on bit 8, download One UI 7 with bit 8. If you install a firmware with a higher bit number, it will work. But you cannot go back to your old version like One UI 6. So think carefully before flashing. And if you ever want to downgrade later, I've already made a separate video showing how to go back from One UI 7 to One UI 6. The link is in the description. All right, the firmware is now downloading, but I'm going to cancel it since I already have the same firmware saved on my PC. Next, we also need to download Odin, the flashing tool we'll use to install One UI on our Samsung phone. You'll find the download link for Odin in the description below. Once you have both files, the One UI 7 firmware and the Odin tool, go ahead and extract them. I'll quickly extract mine here so we're ready for the next step. Great, both files are now extracted. Delete the original downloads to keep your folder clean and we're ready to flash One UI 7. 
Next, open the Odin folder and run odin.exe. This tool is what allows us to flash one UI 7 firmware on Samsung phones. Now inside Odin, click on the BL button and select the BL file from your extracted firmware folder. Next, click on the AP button and choose the AP file. This one might take a few seconds to load since it's the largest file. Once the AP file is loaded, move on to the CP button and select the CP file from the firmware folder. After that, click on the CSC button. Here, make sure to select the file named CSC, not Home CSC. Choosing CSC will completely wipe your device and perform a clean downgrade, which is exactly what we need. So, once all four files, BL, AP, CP and CSC are loaded into Odin, it's time to put the phone into download mode. First, connect your phone to the PC and restart it. As soon as the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold volume up and volume down buttons together. Keep holding until you see a blue warning screen. Now just press volume up once and your device will enter download mode. Once booted into download mode, you'll now see added in Odin. This means your device has been successfully detected and is connected to a COM port. Now all you have to do is click the start button in Odin and the downgrade process will begin. Once you click the start button, Odin will begin flashing the Android 15 firmware onto your Samsung device. You'll see progress bars in Odin. Do not disconnect the device during this process. It usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Let me fast forward this process. And yes, as you can see, oh, uh, we've got the pass message in Odin and the device is now rebooting automatically. The first boot might take a bit longer than usual, so don't panic. Since the phone was formatted during the process, it'll take you straight to the setup screen. So let me quickly fast forward through the initial setup and then we'll continue. And yes, the device has now booted and we're finally running One UI 7. Everything looks smooth and all features are working perfectly. Let's quickly confirm it inside the settings. As you can see, the One UI version is 7.0 and the Android version is 15, exactly what we wanted. So there is how you can install One UI 7 from One UI 6 on your Samsung phone, safe and easy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Samsung tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.